Hello, fellow gunners. Tim here at the casting bench. Uh, okay, since my last video, uh, I've got some comments, not on the video, but out in public. Uh, one guy stopped me and said, I didn't even know there was a difference in pistol powder and rifle powder. Uh, and then I've got, since I got this 1680, I've got on some forms to uh, kind of introduce myself to it and see what other people are doing and how it reacts and what it can be used in. And uh, there was a lot of comments on these forums about a lot of guys didn't know that it was a rifle powder. They thought it was a pistol powder. And there was even some comments on there relating it to bullseye. No, if anything... 1680 is close to 2400. Number nine, it's slower than all those, but that's basically what it's used for. It's used for uh, big magnums like uh, 460 Roland, uh, 500 Smith & Wesson, magnums like that. Oh, uh, 454 Casul. But it's also used in... Uh, 22 Hornet, 17 Hornet, uh, the Fireball, the 221 Fireball, and, and those. Uh, a lot of guys use it in the 300 Blackout. Some guys are actually using it in the uh, 350 Legend. Uh, and that's probably what I'm going to be using it in. But some, in one of these forums, a guy asked if you could use it in 223. And that's where everybody was making the comment about, oh, it's too fast. It's it's like bullseye, and but it, it's not. And you can actually use this in 223. There are loading data out there for that. And it makes for a cheap shooting 223. Uh, I will be exploring that some more. But now what I'm going to do today is I've got my bullseye out. Got my 1680. So I have some Hodgins uh, H870. This is a uh, real slow burning. It's for uh, rifle magnums, uh, 30-06, you know, larger uh, calibers. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, I've got some lines over here that are equal size. Now, I'm not going to burn them at the same time, but I'm going to set these lines. I'm going to set the powder up in a line, and I'm going to ignite it, showing you how the burn rate works. Okay, so uh, I have two burn rate charts, or maybe three, and somehow or another I've misplaced them and I cannot find them. So I could show you how different powders compare uh, with burn rate. Uh, like I said, I can't find them, so I can't show you that. But you can always look up burn rate charts. Uh, There's several different ones. And it'll give you a general uh, idea of what powder uh, you may be able to use for a certain uh, caliber, like if you're used to using 2400, uh, like I said, uh, number 9, uh, 2400, H110, Winchester 296, uh, have a similar burn rate. Uh, I'd say this, but uh, the uh, 410 powder has a similar burn rate, but I have never been able to get it to work right in a uh, 357. I, I think somebody did make a comment about, I think my train told me that uh, Alliant had come up with some 44 Magnum loads with the 410. Don't hold me to that. That's been a while back. And uh, I don't know. So I'm going to get set up. I'm going to get uh, my powders out. I'm going to get them lined out. And ignite them for you so you can see how they burn okay guys so we're going to start out with this bullseye 
Now this is a fast burning pistol powder. Uh, you can read there what it does. Fast burning and consistent, economical and accurate. Great for 38 special and uh, 45 auto targets. I think it has some application in maybe handicap shot shells too. Okay, so let's get that lined out. Take a little paper here, make us a line, and try to make it consistent. Uh, <clears throat> I'm talking real lightly, sorry about that. But you can see my lines here. So we got our lines here. Okay, guys. So I am not <clears throat> going to put a timer on this. You can watch in the video. There should be enough difference in this powder burn that you can see it. All right. Here we go. Wish me luck. Okay. So you've seen how fast that burnt. Okay. So now we're going to get the uh, 1680 out. All right, so basically on the burn rate chart, this is going to be a middle burning type powder. It's not going to be like a fast uh, pistol powder. It's not going to be like a slow rifle powder. It's going to be a fast rifle powder, slow pistol powder. And you can see it is so much slower than the bullseye. It, it is so much slower than bullseye. I can't believe anybody would even compare it to bullseye. Uh, that just kind of floors me that they would do that. All right. Now here's the eight H eight seventy. Let me get it in a line here. This is hard to do because this is a spear spear a ball powder, and it actually looks like I may have got to uh, no not once I spread it out over the line, but it keeps rolling away. And now I'm a, there we go. All right. Yeah, I may have got too much powder there. All right. Let me pull some of that away. Boy. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Did not plan on it being this difficult. I'm in the garage, so I can sweep that up without much problem. Wow. <laughs> Probably would have been a lot better had that been extruded. All right, well, there we go. That's as good as I'm gonna get. Now, this, you'll be able to see, is gonna be really slow burning. Yeah. 
It's so slow, it was hard for me to ignite. Oh, wow, that's really good, wasn't it? And there you go, guys. That is the difference in an, a fast pistol, a medium-burning, high-end pistol, uh, a slow-burning pistol, fast-burning rifle, and a slow-burning rifle powder. Uh, for those... Of you that uh, didn't know about burn rate. I wish I had my chart so I could show you. But like I said, you can look up burn rates on quite a few places. Just look up burn rate charts and you can download it. All right, guys. I will see you. Uh, yeah, you over there. Uh, yeah, maybe even you, you guys in the next video. I can't believe Tim didn't burn his fingers, or at least burn down the garage. <laughs>